Hello everybody, Sifridian, and today I'm gonna be playing Rogue Book. The game is a rogue light card game deck builder, so pretty simple concept. Although I have to say that the, um, the theming here is that we are inside a book, so the game has to do with inks, etc. I will I will explain along the run. I'm pretty sure there will also be a first tutorial in the beginning. Uh, actually, I'm not sure about it, so let's just start the game right away. Although I have to say, first and foremost, that this is a rogue light with a T. So that means that there is heavy meta progression that actually will affect our future runs. So things like starting with better decks or having more gold in the beginning or more max life, etc. Are things that are happening in this game. So um, my first run might not be a win because of that. And even if it is a win, there are also difficulty options that actually challenge you to beat the game in uh, different ways it isn't the classic enemies just have more health there are some nice things but uh, for now let's uh, let's begin the run and uh, we will see what we will do also i want to point out with uh, the sound actually let's uh, let's see what's happening here we are flying through the portal we are entering the book the book of the rogue book white screen of death i guess and uh, here we are. Well, well, seems like there is actually for force tutorial. Talk to me. Oh, I thought he was gonna speak. Ah, oh. <laughs> good morning, stranger. Where am I? Ah. Oh. Does do they speak or not? I've been sleeping for quite some time. My name is Nadim. We are both trapped within the rogue book. Let's not waste another minute. Take this. Take this. This is one of my brushes. Okay, so when uh, this is how you reveal part of the area. I found Sorocco. I should go and see if he's okay. Yo, Sorocco, are you okay, my dude? Yo, Shara. Where are we? We need to get We need to get out of here. I don't... I don't like the smells of this place. <laughs> I'm not gonna voice act. The explorer... To explore more of this cursed book, you must harvest the very ink it has used to form its creation. A tricky task. Okay, let's go fight. Let's go start the battle. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we are uh, exploring. Actually, I will start explaining things after we're done with the tutorial. But uh, I just want to say real quick that I have changed some sound options. But hopefully they are not too loud. I prefer they are more on the lower side than on the higher side. Uh, I will keep this sound option until the end of the run. But uh, comment down below if it's okay with the sounds so that I will fix it on the next run. So I will uh, shoot the whole run uh, in a row, back to back. And um, at the end of the run I will be... Well, I will be reading the comments from part 1, 2 and 3. But the thing is that after the end of the run, then it's when I'm gonna be implementing them. Look at the... Look how they're attacking. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, the classic. No problem. We both go defensive. They won't even scratch us. You know, um... So this is 15 attack, this is a classic system of mana and uh, cards played. So as this guy said, if I go full on defense, I will not take any hits. So let's do that. Let's get 8 defense. Okay, as you can see, every time there is this uh, little icon over here, the higher icon, then we change uh, class, we change who is front and who is in the back. So right now this guy's in the front, there is a whole story here. If somebody wants to read it, just pause. And then it's this one too. Shara is aggressive. And Sorocco is versatile. So there's, there's that. I have three mana. And uh, let's play block and block. So that my number is going to be up to 20. So I don't get hit at all. Let's end the round. Obviously I would normally just attack and take a hit. So now the enemy is actually defending. So now is our chance to actually start damaging him. So her strikes do 7. This thing does 9. Swap it here in the front. Okay, charge means that I'm going from the front to the back. Uh, seems like blocks always bring you to the front because these strikes do not actually transform him to the front as you can see while the strike uh, if she was in the back she would most likely got transported so i guess uh, getting the front is either a downside or a upside depending on what you want to do i'm gonna assume swapping is an upside uh ink reveal three tiles in straight line well done well done, a wonderful display. I knew you would be the ones to help me get out of here. Be warned, many of the creations of the book will be much stronger than you are, have just seen. Before going further, you should gather your belongings. Okay. By combining inks and skillful brush strokes, you are able to paint the path you need. I will show you. Use your ink here. Okay, I go over here. Throw the ink towards your treasures. 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 Ink. 
use. But that is not how you should do it, right? You should do it like this. This isn't where I used... Okay, I will do what you want me to do. I'm going to assume that they want me to go in the middle and do this. Now stand over here and do this. Ah, okay. Well, uh, was that not going to work? I think it might not have worked. Well, maybe you're... Uh, from here it would have worked. So whatever, dude, whatever. Uh, Fortifying Rule Legendary. At the end of your turn, if Soroka is leading, he gains 2 block. We gain 2 block. Okay. Sword of Destiny Legendary. If Shara is leading, she gains 3 power. Power means increased attack damage. Now it's time to venture beyond the gate. And now the game begins. That was a tutorial. Thank you, game, for having such a small tutorial and just being like, 1, 2, 3, done. The gate requires two suits to open. You cannot venture and alone. Passing through it will create a new story. You must find your way through. Okay, good to know. So right now I only have the basic characters. These were the characters that were here at the demo. But uh, it doesn't matter for me. Let's uh, let's start with these characters and uh, we will choose others later. So this is the gate. Open up. I like that there are like two. Open up. Crazy dude. And this is the path to the boss. This is an elite fight I'm gonna assume. You ready, big guy? To finish this story. Always ready to fill us the story. You must defeat the creature that have been painted to guard the portals leading to the other worlds. One of these portals may just may just lead us out of here. I have been trapped here. What? I've been trapped here for some time, but lack of strength to push on. I will help guide you and provide you with supplies. Visit me and I will help you as I can. So he's most likely the shop, right? Let's talk to this guy. Nadim, your local retailer. Okay, he's the shop. How much gold do I start with? 100. And the shop is costing yeah, uh, 54 cards, maybe 154 good cards, and then uh, about 200, 254 relics, artifacts, whatever. And then we also have gemstones here. I will explain that. Actually, let me explain this. The, the cards, as you can see, have slots in them, where you can just slot some uh, some of those uh, some of those gems. I'm assuming they're called gems. For example, draw a card, discard the card. It's common or just gaining for block is common, but rare is shuffle. Listen to your deck after playing it. Instead of going to the discard, always have it in the deck so you can play it a bunch of times. Uh, I could get two mana attack for 25. That seems like a high amount. Attack for 15 and retreat. So attacks and then goes back. Can only be played while Shara is leading. Okay, gain nine block and retreat. I like all of these. These are really good cards. Gain, give a hero three power and dissolve. Dissolve is that it gets removed. Lightning draw, charge, and combo. Combo means if the last card played this turn belongs to the other hero, it costs one less energy. So this is pretty much a zero core card charge. So zero cost brings her in the front. Attack for 10. If 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 this is turn one, deal 30 damage. Ooh, this is a really good card, and it also has two slots. So let's uh, let's keep our money to maybe buy this. And the two slots is also really nice. This should be good with a smaller deck size, so I can draw this often and do instantly 30 damage for zero maybe add something for more damage so that this thing does like 15 or something and then i we will see we will see for now let's buy let's not buy nothing bake pay gold to draft the card draft the card so if i skip it is gonna close or what's gonna happen here two mana combo gain 10 block so this could be one mana gain 10 block how much does the block normally cost? Normally the block costs 8, 6. Okay, this is a good block, this is a bad block. 6, 6. Okay, the normal block is 6 and then the better block is... So our cards are strike 7, strike 7, block 6, block 6 and lounge for 9. And then and again, 7, 7, 6, 6. Three, three. Oh, he has 3 attacks and a 6 and an 8. Okay. So let's go back to this. Attack for 3, inflict 3 bleeding. Bleeding creatures take this much damage at the start of each turn. So... It doesn't go down. Bleeding doesn't go down. Pump up. Gain 8 block, which is better than normal. Add 2 headbangs to your hand. Headbang is combo. So if the other one attacks, it's 0 cost. So Rocco gains 3 power for his next attack and dissolve. Okay. Stacks. Okay, this also stacks. Can't have multiple copies of itself in your hand. Oh, it stacks within itself. Good to know. So that's a nice thing. Um, I don't know if any of those are worth it. If I skip, am I going to lose the reward? Let's learn this right away. Yes, if I skip, I lose the reward. Good to know. So that was a bad choice on my part. Let's uh, let's go, in, go into a normal battle and see how this goes. Okay, so enemies don't do that much damage right now. It's good to have my sword back. 
I deal more damage when I'm in front. Okay. When Char is not attacking, I should like to move forward. It'll boost our defenses. Yes, yes. The classic simple combo. So this guy can do 12 and bye bye. Boop. And now I'm gonna take. Is there somewhere the number I am gonna take, or do I have to calculate this alone? Seems like I have to calculate this alone. So I'm about to take 9. So let's just block both of them. Actually, he is gonna block on his own another 2 for free, right? At the end of the turn. So I'm already blocking for 10. Let's do a hit on uh, the guy with the more life. On the guy with the less life. Because we can do 6. Easily 8 damage. Look at this little yucks. Okay, 5 and 4. So we should be able to... You know, do... Should I block for 6? Okay, so let's do 7. And another 7. And then block. Although I did already misplay, so I should have blocked first. Yeah, I, I should uh, start thinking about these things. I should block first and then attack for 9 and 9 because those 7s uh, are gonna... Uh, 10 and 10 because the 7s are gonna be plus 10. So a bit of a min-max has to be happening. Uh, good to know that we are making mistakes here in the very beginning with the yaks. So we learn faster. Uh, learn in a forgiving environment, so to speak. Because I'm pretty sure the boss is gonna like destroy us if I was at the boss right now. And we got three precisioning. Reveal one space anywhere on the map and gold. Okay. Let's go get this. Rune of Sight reveals a random item on the map and all the adjacent tiles. Let's take a look. Okay, that's free. Let's go to the free one. Let's get some gold here. Uh, let's... Uh, you know what? What is this? Sky Tower. Reveal surrounding territory. So I should try to get into the sky tower. Is this an elite? Yeah, let's not go for the elite. Let's draft the card. It should be 25, right? It is 25. So let's maybe this time pick it up. The next card you play this turn costs two less. This battle. Ooh. And this costs one. So this can make a card cost permanently zero or one. Cross strike a zero or one if it's cost three. Attack for five damage twice, gain two courage. Courage means at the start of your turn, gain one energy and lose a stack of courage. So this is gonna do, this is two mana, deal five and five, or if I'm in front, eight and eight, and then I will gain more mana and the next in the run after that. I like this. You also like this, 12 mana, ally, aggressive. Aggressive deal, deal dam ally means allies remain on the battlefield when played. Deal damage equal to this ally spirit to the front enemy at the end of the turn. So he does 12 damage every turn. Whenever the heroes play a card, decrease the cost of this colossus by one. Okay, so if I play ah uh, with one with the man, one man I have right now, I'm playing like I, it will take three turns for this to cost three and 12 turn uh, four turns for this to cost zero. Hmm. I don't know. I could pick it up and it's gonna like circle in my hand. I want to try this because this is for the end of the battle. I want to try this thing. And it also has like... It, it seems to be orange. So I'm gonna assume that it, this is a more rare card. So we will see what we will do. Also the cookie should make it uh, possible for my whole deck. Does the cookie go away? No. The next card you play this turn costs two less in, in this battle. So this is gonna start making all our cards cost zero pretty much. Uh, but not, yeah. Let's uh, let's go to a simple battle to uh, try out the cookie too. I'm playing a bit slower here in explanatory. Okay, they are skipping their turn. I'm gonna assume uh, things are going down. So, oh, we we are not starting good. Let's do the cookie. And now this is gonna permanently cost zero. That's what I'm understanding. Let's do a block and let's do another block for no reason. And let's end the round. Maybe playing cards is uh, bound to achievements or whatever. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's for, yeah, let's just strike for a bunch. Let's try to remove this guy. And again, I don't know right now, uh, what these guys are gonna do. 18, and wow, we started attacking the wrong guy. We started attacking the wrong guy. Uh-oh. Okay, cookie is a given, as, uh, this pretty much does not cost anything. Because if I play 1, 2, 3, it's the same as if I'm go I was gonna play 1, 0, 2, 3. So let's play the cookie. I will always play the cookie. Let's uh, do the attack. This guy's toast. Wait a minute. For seven. Let's do ten to this guy. And uh, let's do seven to him. And then ten. And I also don't have any defense. So I'm about to take 24 here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I couldn't even change anyway. Well, let's hope there is healing in this game. Uh, at least easily accessible healing. Another 18. Oh my dude. This guy is crazy. Uh, I will attack. 
And then I will do a defend. Oh, I will do the both both the defense with the other guy. Now I'm gonna take two. Nice, I should be able to defeat him now. Okay, so seems like yeah, game. Can I go for faster animations? Uh, not really. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, let's do the cookie just for fun and let's defeat this guy. Okay, I like the cookie. I really, really like the cookie. It's a, it's a free card. Although I'm losing on uh, card draw, I'm losing on uh, overall card hand. Because uh, if I draw five cards and if I play the cookie, it's as if I had set four cards. Apply the pigment to your brush to reveal all spaces in a three tile range around yourself. Apply the pigment to your brush to reveal all spaces in a three tile range. While this is two range, I'm gonna assume that that is normally two range. Yeah, it's normally two range, but with this thing, it's gonna be three. So the next uh, thing I'm, so the next time I'm gonna reveal, it's gonna reveal a bunch. Uh, maybe if I am like here, I'm thinking about how I could min max this. So I have three precision inks, so I could like reveal everything here, then precision one, precision two, open this, and the precision three, and open this, and uh, pretty much hope for the best. Uh, maybe, maybe over here. Yeah, let's uh, let's do it over here and just hope for the best. Or maybe even here. Yeah, let's make this. I'm trying to be as far away as these two, because they are gonna reveal another more things themselves. So we find some gold. So we find more gold, more gold. I have to remember to maybe go reveal one space anywhere on the map. This one, this one, and this one. Okay, let's open this. Trying to avoid, found the, you have one page, the page is the story currency. This is an event, the heroes come across a statue of a forgotten protector. It does not move, but its eyes seem to be fixed on whoever approaches. Pray for it to be a sword, pray for it to be your shield. So it's either a zero mana ally, zero cost ally aggressive that does, okay, that stays forever on the field and does five damage every single round. And this is ally aggressive at the start of the hero's turn, gain block equal to the ally spirit. So this is does five every turn. This is does two and also shields us for two. Um, I will go for doing two damage and shielding for two. Although this seems to be a bit better with the one difference i think shielding is also important so let's go with uh utility start the battle with this on the field wow we got a really good event reveal five spaces in a straight line okay i found an ink i can like i have four more inks wow i have a lot of inks to use here how how big is this i'm forced to use it after i check it okay i'm not forced to use it let's uh, let's draft a card i mean they are definitely cheaper than the shop both heroes gain two power until the end of the your turn. Ah, zero. Ah, no. Charge, attack, seventeen, and the turn. So this is the ending card, the last card I'm gonna play in the turn. Ally aggressive and activate. Activate. Use its ability once per turn. Allies lose one spirit when activating unless they are spiritless. So this uh, guy can force me to swap, and it's uh, one mana. Deal five every round after I play him, and I'm gonna assume that he removes himself from the deck too. So one mana, deal five every turn. I like this. Uh, let's uh, let's do it. I mean, he's gonna get remove himself from the from the deck. As far as I understand, he should remove himself. Consume to heal both heroes for ten. Oh, this is an item I'm carrying. Nice. We are carrying healing items instead of just drinking them on the spot. That's also a nice addition to the game. Zero mana, block four, and not really shaman. Another ally for one mana. I'll activate if the last card you played this turn is is in your discard pile return to your hand if the last card you played oh if the discard pile didn't shuffle that's what it's saying the next two hits on an enemy are critical hits the target takes double damage from the next hit uh i could uh, do this i could take this and with a combination of the cookie most of the things that cost two with a combination of the cookie are gonna be really good on my deck but this is a uh, oh this is just a three use ally that is gonna return the card to my hand um, if you think about it, it's a uh, one mana, uh, draw three times a card, uh, a specific card, the, la the card you played last, actually. But I think I want to do this with the crits. Uh, it's a zero mana, if I'm gonna cookie this thing, it's a zero mana, two heads on an enemy are gonna be crits. And I'm, I can combine it with the other card that's zero mana, do 25. It's two mana, do 25, but I could uh, combine it with this. Let's, uh, let's, let's try, I don't know, double damage. 
Double damage for two hits. I don't know if this is worth it. This uh, has to be combined with... No, let's not take it. This That had, has to be combined with one big strike and not um, a bunch of smaller ones. And I think this character is definitely a bunch of smaller ones. Do have the start of the battle, each gain three mana. Uh, at the end of the battle... At the end of each battle, the equipped hero heals four life. Nice. The third time you land a hit each turn, gain five block. This is also nice, but I want to buy this. So charge and combo, it could cost either one or zero, and uh, it's gonna be either 10 damage or 30. So uh, let's buy this, so we got a good start. And this is the card I was talking about for the 25 damage. It co I could make this cost zero. I could buy the crits. Uh, gain three power, mortars, attack a random enemy for three. Repeat for each card you played this turn. Uh, I'm not uh, I'm not a combo deck right now. Attack for 15, retreat. Can only be played with Shara's leading. Should I try this with a cookie? Should I try the 25 damage with a cookie? I think I should. Let's try the 25 damage with a cookie. I did skip I did skip the crits because um, because I'm pretty sure this character, the Shanara, whatever she's called or he, um, is gonna do a bunch of smaller hits. I cannot get a line. Oh, I can get the line there. Let's get the line to that fight. Let's get this line going. What do you do? The landing hero suffers from an aura of weakness. Six times two. Okay, and I also got this guy. So let's start with the cookie, as always. Now let's go for the charge. And then most likely... Oh, I don't have defense. As always, I'm gonna take a bunch of hits here. And I can't even swap. The, the leading hero suffers. Okay, I'm just gonna attack then. What is this? Ah, Hour of Weakness. The hero in the position deals 33 less damage. Well, I can't really do anything about that. 7 and another 7. And skip. And I'm gonna get hit for a track again. Track load. Very nice. Very nice. Not having defense in the very first turn is exactly what we want to happen. Uh, let's do the 25. And then let's do another 6. This guy does more. Uh, I mean, that was a block. Good thing I didn't play it. A little shieldy guy is helping us out. Lightning draw. Combo. Uh, horseman, maybe? He's about to do 21 damage. Can we remove him right now? So I can do attack. Is this is attack at the end? Deal damage equal to child spirit in the front at the end of the turn. So let's do one. Zero, right? Yep, zero. And then another seven. And then I would spawn this guy and he will do another five. So if we don't get good cards in the beginning, <laughs> we got some problems, definitely. What is this? Apply this pigment to your brush to reveal a space in all adjacent spaces within a radius of two. Oh, so that means I'm gonna cast my next brush reveal. So let's maybe throw it between, over here. Yeah, perfect. It could not have been per better than this. Perfect. Let's take a potion. Can I swap who leads? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I can swap who leads. Let's maybe heal. Let's for 10. Let's see if I can get the good card here. Pretty sure they're all 25. Yep. Teamwork. Combo. Gain 10 block. Combo means that uh, it could cost 1. Combo. Draw a card. Gain 2 block. Combo again means it could cost 0. I like this. Ally Spiritless. At the end. At the start of your turn. Add a dagger to your hand. So this is 1 mana every single time. Draw a dagger. Stacks, attack for two, dissolve. Or attack for four when she's in front. I like this. I like this uh, drawing a card for zero. Let's draw a card for zero and gain a block. This is pretty much a free card. I mean, I should be able to combo more often. What is this? We unlock the passive. As you collect more cards, you can unlock more talents. Each hero has a unique set of talents. You may select only one talent in each row. Okay, so we have the choice of once per battle, click on Shanar to attack the leading enemy for 15 and retreat. Uh, all future cards gain have two gem sockets. Okay. Whenever you use a brush, reveal two extra adjacent tiles at random. Uh, once per battle, deal 15. I like the deal 15 once per battle. So we got a battle. Um, all the battles, a bit more aggressive in battles. This is a uh, late game having more better, better cards, finding better cards. And this is uh, straight up just uh, being able to explore the game a bit more. This would be economy, I guess. Um, let's make us, uh, I think I will go for Alacrity, especially the retreat part is uh, really important for us right now, so, what is this? Why did this bug out? 
this gonna float here forever? Okay, we we removed it. So if I click on my on Shannara now, she will uh, do 15 damage and jump back. What is happening here? Will this fight become extremely hard faster? Stealth enemies cannot be targeted. If there are no more revealed enemies, then we attack them. So we are gonna take 15. We have the drop. We don't have the drop. This does a bunch of damage right now. This has combo. So let's start with the strike, then the combo. Yeah, let's do a strike for 7 on uh, the front guy. This guy's gonna go down instantly. Make the uber hit. That was a mistake. I think that was not a mistake. Uh, I could destroy them in instantly, but uh, I don't have enough block to not get hit this round. So uh, I will do the defend, obviously. So let's uh, call the aggressive ally. Yep, let's call the aggressive ally. Let's defend. And now I'm full on def fully defended. And the enemies start taking some hits from my allies too. Don't know how many allies I could have. I would like to maybe do an ally thing. Nice, we got the combo. So Ogre Kugi into flatten. 25, bye bye. He's doing the... It tends to attack and use a debuff. Okay, good to know, good to know. So I have two mana left. It's, uh, I could use launch to go back. And, yeah, I could do like this. Go to the front and then shield and go to the back. Back and forth, etc. I could always do that if I want. And I'm pretty sure there is gonna be some combos tripped on the next turn. The first card this year plays costs one more. Okay, then. Uh, he's gonna attack us for five, so let's defend. Move to the front with this guy and then do 10 damage. And uh, might as well do a thing twice with a combo. That was a mistake. Doesn't really matter. We could have drawn the zero cost card. I thought the first card he was about to play was gonna cost one more. Why did uh, why do the two cards cost more? Always uh, always cookie. Just to get uh, just to get used to it. Just to get used to it to play always the cookie. It wasn't needed here, obviously. Let's continue. Okay, we got explosive pigment. Apply this pigment to your brush to reveal all spaces in a three tile. Okay, I had this before. Uh, let's try to explode uh, over here. I would like to... Yeah, I can also see how many I'm going to reveal. 25, so this is going to give you success to this fight too. It seems that not everything we paint can be explored. These areas are feel heavier. I think they are obstacles that will block our path. This is the first time I'm, uh, I'm revealing a black one. I didn't know that. Okay. Random item reveal in the surrounding area. Oh, thank you, game. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Let's go into a random ink battle here. A bunch of ghosts. I should be able to one-shot most of them. I got the lightning draw. So this has also combo. So now I will try to do a one-two combo. That would mean strike first, then lightning thing, then think twice, then lounge, I guess. So... Maybe I should start with the lounge. And one, two, three, maybe. Yeah, let's do it like that. It, it doesn't really matter. Let's do 12 to one of the ones that attacks us. So maybe we can remove him. Uh, yeah. I mean, actually, we're gonna block most likely, but... And lightning strike. This is gonna charge again. Let's remove uh, this guy. The front guy is completely blocked. Yeah, I should start this, this attacking the back line. Yeah, he's completely blocked. Am I gonna get another four? I think I'm not. Well, it doesn't matter. Attack. Attack. I'm overthinking this. Let's go. And then this guy's gonna attack for 2-2. Two, two. So I always have two. This, the shielding is gotten at the start. I have to remember that. So we got the combo. Cookie plus flatten. Uh, you're toast, I'm pretty sure. What is that? Shield? Protection. Prevents the first instant of damage. This would take... Ooh. Ooh. I should have read up. I should have read up. Well, um, I can do like 10, flatten, jump back. This guy's gonna do 8. I need to do defend for sure. I need to defend for sure. Defend for 6. I can definitely remove this guy. Let's do this ability. Flatten. Defend. And strike. And we take nothing. Because we have 8 shield. Okay. And he is shielding. So we should be winning now. Launch for 12. And the strike. And bye bye bye. Bye bye. 
I like my little uh, shielding gargoyle, although he's not as strong as the most likely the attacking gargoyle. So this is a targeted paint. Let's maybe get a good card here. Maybe not. For 24. I can get this guy. This time I think I want this guy. Uh, fire breathe. Attack all enemies for 15. For 2 mana. 2 mana deal 15 to everybody. I could make this 0. Uh, I'm, I'm, I am playing 4 cards per turn most of the time. Whenever the hero plays a card you crazy. Yeah, I'm playing 4 cards on the turn most of the time. So this should be active in the 2nd or 3rd round. Both here, Most likely 3rd or 4th actually. Both heroes gain 2 power. No. I like the fire breathing but I also like the wind Colossus. Colossus. Um, let's uh, let's go for the Colossus. Uh, again, I have no idea what's good or not in this game. I'm just randomly picking things here. But I'm, I'm doing what I hope is best. Mirror image. Each time Shara deals damage, this deals the same amount of damage and loses one spirit. Okay. One mana gain of courage. So this should be a zero mana gain of courage. This is a mana boost. I could take this again. Let's try to go for a Colossus deck. Maybe. I, I should have picked up the ally that uh, was gonna give us some um, some mana so some uh, daggers there was an idol that was about to give us daggers okay i didn't get the insta destroy guard and i also got the colossus right away so that's not good i will try to have sorocco in the front with his blocking so this is the last card i'm gonna play so let's do a lunge yeah we'll try to remove this guy first then a defend there aren't any other attacks right Actually, there is the strike, but I'm gonna take so much damage. Defend, and Sorocco defend. Let's set up for a defensive round. 16 defense. Okay, we got hit for a little. A little is doable, a little is doable. Okay, this guy does not shield. Let's do the cookie first, then a strike, then the thing twice. Cookie, strike to make it cheap. Okay, then a thing twice. Free shielding. We got flatten. I could strike the back. Ooh, for five. No, I cannot strike. I have to flatten here. I'm gonna take too much, though. I'm not gonna flatten. I'm just gonna block here. Yeah, let's block. Let's make sure we're not gonna go down. And uh, let's leave him at one. Yeah, with two small strikes, he should be done. Oh, if I press center turn. Oh, okay. I can see. I can see the future. Okay, good to know. Good to know that I can see the future when I go over and turn. That's nice. I requested in the beginning and indeed they actually have it in the game so this should be free if i attack with the other guy first so let's go for the strike here for the zero then let's do this this guy's gonna buff himself this means buff right yep so uh i have a strike this is nine this is seven let's go for this the higher attack boom let's go over here your toast uh let's play the colossus now we are doing 12 per round and now the next Colossus also costs zero, right? The next Colossus should cost zero now. I took the second one, right? I don't even remember. Um, play the, play him. Yep, that counts as a combo. Draw a card, and the Colossus does actually cost zero. And uh, how much am I going to take here? I'm going to take a bunch. Let's uh, guard first, and then guard again. And now I'm taking nothing. And my crew is attacking. Crew attack. Would be nice if there was a speed option. I'm gonna assume there is somewhere, but I don't know where. Ah, let's just end this. I also need to start uh, using some uh, sockets here on my cards. Okay, and we found the reveal pipe spaces in a straight line. So I got the yeah, I got the cast cast the um, the ranged brush, I guess. Where should I throw it? I have like no idea where I should throw some things. Because most of the things are revealed at this point on the map. Pretty sure. Maybe I can throw it over here. Whereas there, there is a lot of area to explore. Randomly throwing uh, brushes. In the wind. Found some healing. Found some gold. Let's draft a card. I'm not forced to buy anything. So this uh, I can just skip it if I want. Attack for 7. Gain 7 block. This is a better card than the one you have. Charge. Attack for 17. And end the run. Run. No. I think I want to do 7 and block 7. I like this. And also this orange thing I think means that it's a bit more rare. Let's buy this card. The talent here has been unlocked. Okay, you can charge your leader of your party whenever you wish. The select here will start the front. Ooh, thank you. Let's have Soroko in the front. 
because right now Shara has low life and also Shara has like charge cards anyway so she can get in the front if need be. Shara starts each battle with 3 courage and that means we start the game with 4 energy in the, free, the first 4 turns. Uh, the first 3 turns actually. Uh, once per battle, click on Sorocco to gain 15 block and move him to the front. Okay. And at the start of turn 5, the heroes gain 3 power. Ah, that's a bit slow. I think starting with a bunch of mana in the first 4 turns is pretty important. Definitely more important than having a one-time... Uh... Actually, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, let's go. Let's go with the mana gain. Let's, uh, let's start with a bunch of mana in the first turn. I, I think we are a bit bursty anyway. And I'm also trying to get the Colossus to get its uh, stats as fast as possible. Uh, let's see if I can... I, I'm trying to avoid the Elite here for as long as possible. Let's see if I can buy anything. Buy this. I can buy. Actually, I cannot buy anything. Sorry, still haven't found the the hotkeys. Let's 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 first fight the elite because I don't know if he's dropping brushes. Otherwise, I'm gonna use this and then go fight. I think you are keeping the rare ones, but you're not keeping the main ones. I'm not a hundred percent sure about it. Let's go. Guaranteed reward: a brush. Okay, that's the elite. He is stealthy. Enemy intent does a damage, a major debuff. And he just 10 damage. Okay, so 55. We got a flatten. We got 4 mana. We got this for 33. Actually, this is 39. Plus a flatten should be done. This also has combo, so this costs 0. I can remove this guy right away. It's gonna do us 10 damage, 6 block. Plus himself, another. Yeah, we can block, defend everything and remove the boss. Oh, he's stealth. Well, cancel everything. So flatten this guy. Uh, combo, destroy this guy. Bop, boop. Jack, yeah, he's toast. I could uh, strike him. I mean, I am. I'm not gonna block. I'm not gonna block at all. So let's just do ten because I'm already blocking this thing. Another twelve. Let's go. Let's see what debuff you're gonna do. What is this courage? Debuff is concussed. Discard the random card of this. I was not. Uh, how would I know that he was gonna bleed me, man? Ah, uh, whatever. Bleed that also goes through shield, it seems. Take more damage from attacks. And concussed. Discard the random card of this hero. Okay, good to know. So. He's gonna do a bunch. Let's do the horse master no matter what. Let's do the guard no matter what. So we are gonna take nine now. I might as well strike him. And let's go. Boom, boom, and 12. And we took nothing, obviously. And now he's toast, no matter what. I'm gonna take the bleed here. I'm getting destroyed. Take one damage at the start of each turn. Cannot be blocked. Well, 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 well. Cookie always. Clash. Strike. And assassinate. I have to remember that I have the assassination. I took a bunch of damage here. That's not good. That's not good. Ooh. Gold. Pages. Pages is a meta currency. Uh, Focus Prism. That's a common, uh, I guess, um, enchantment. I don't know. Reveals paper. Oh, and, and one of those. So let's draw a card, discard the card. Let's place that into. Not Lightning Draw. I want damage for Lightning Draw. I could do it on this. Think twice. So this was this is gonna draw two cards and discard one. Uh, discarding a card that's useless is pretty much a given. So yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, let's upgrade this. Can I? How? I have to press craft. Okay, I have to press craft. Got it. Let's make the card draw. The card draw card draw more cards. Let's make the card draw card card draw card draw cards. <laughs> English. Uh, I still don't like any of these. I would like to get this at this point, but with uh, I don't think I will be able to find that gold. I'm not sure if this thing actually stays. It stays. Let's uh, let's go do a random reveal. Nice, we found life, we found page, and uh, maybe another. Oh, we found all gold, 110, and maybe another reveal somewhere random. I don't know. Maybe over here. I guess. 9, 8, 9. Is there anywhere else where maybe I could get more out of the brush? 8. Okay, let's go for maybe here? 7. It's nice that they actually reveal how many you're gonna reveal. 
they show you. Let's go reveal these nine. We found another straight line. I'm gonna keep this one this time. I'm. Uh, let's check the card draft, as I'm actually not able to buy anything from the shop. Thousand cuts. Attack an enemy for six, three times. If I get the damn. This is for nine, three times, and that could cut it for zero. Another Colossus. Attack an enemy for twelve. The adjacent enemies for six. Wow, this is this is good. Let's take this. Then <laughs> again, I'm pretty sure the deck is not uh, really good right now. Maybe I should get the block. Ah, no, let's go as we are and let's hope for the best. Let's actually drink some potions. I know I'm uh, wasting a bit because this guy is at full, but uh, let's keep this guy maxed out right now. And let's let's fight the boss. Boss battle danger. We're about to face the chapter's boss. It's very tough, so be sure to explore everything you can before I... I'm only not using this one brush, otherwise I think I explored everything. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is a this is a character. Hmm, Soroko, is that who I think it is? I was about to ask you the same. Seems like this book has driven him completely mad. He is an ally. Cloaked hunter, enemy intent to deal to deal ten damage to us. Ten damage is pretty blockable. This is combo, so we start out with clash. Combo. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, I'm gonna block. I think I can do defend and then defend to have Shiroko in the front. I don't have mana for this guy. Nope. Eight and a debuff. Let's let make Shiroko take the debuff. Okay, let's start with the cookie plus impact, I guess, and then think twice. Cookie plus impact. Think twice. I I cannot. Yeah, I think twice is gonna cost normal. Let's throw away the Titan as I'm not gonna be able to play him anyway. Now let's play... Now I got the Horse Master. Wow, that was a bit late. I'm gonna take a lot here. Actually, no, I'm not gonna take anything, right? Now let's do this. And bring the Horse Master in. And now I should take nothing. I don't know what the debuff is gonna be. Let's hope it's not bleed. You know what? Because it might be bleed, because I see this guy be a bit more butchery, let's maybe have him in the front. So he takes the bleed. Vulnerable, take more damage. Whoops, it's not bleed. Well, for one turn, and this guy is gonna buff himself, so he's not even gonna use it. Let's just go for damage then. A seven, everybody. Yeah, everything's seven. Let's go. I could swap for three more damage per pop, but it wouldn't matter. So he, now he's enraged. The cloaked hunter is enraged when under half life. How would I know this? 12 times three. Very nice. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go for strike, recast, launch guard. I mean, it's not that I have more defense. Do I have mana for this? Yeah, it is one, one, two, three. Yeah, let's go. One, still one, two, three. And now I'm gonna take a big hit. A huge hit, but what can I do? Tell me what I could do. Boom, boom, boom. I could not do anything. Intends to use a debuff. Who cares? Uh, impact for 12. Flatten for 25. And a good old clash. And we are done here. Where am I? No. Now you are dust. Dust in the wind. Victory. Okay, we got. Full heal? Is that a full heal? Please don't tell me. Viol fully heals both heroes and clears all wounds. Is that first? Wow, if I knew that this was gonna come up, I would not uh, drink so many hearts beforehand. Although, uh, I should uh, think about it, because this is a roguelike and all of them do it. Two chests, a treasure, what is this? Let's get the treasure then. Things cro Krog's crown. He the first time each turn, the equipped hero plays a card that costs two or more. Draw two cards. Uh, I could give this to Soroko. Although I'm making my cards cheaper anyway. Whenever an enemy... Is destroyed. Gain a coin and draw. A, uh, gain one mana and draw a card. Not really a boss focus, but otherwise it will help me out with uh, smaller fights. Mask of Predator. When you destroy an enemy, shuffle a hunt down into your deck. Hunt down is zero mana. The leading hero gains ten power for the next attack and draw a card. Ah, this is just a worse than this. This also has dissolve. So this is whenever you destroy an enemy. At some point in that fight, uh, the leading hero gains ten power for the next attack and draw a card. 
So just a 10 power up. While this is where every time you destroy an enemy, you at this at exactly at that same moment you draw a card and gain a mana. I think this is the best one, but I am trying to make all my cards cheap, so this is not gonna play into effect ever. So let's go for this, I guess. Let's get this. Oh, this is a gem. Choose a pile. Oh, these three or the perfect diamond. Outlaw. I like the outlaw. I said that I wanted to pick him up. He is gonna give us a dagger every turn, and that dagger in turn is gonna make my Colossus Giants become cheaper faster. Smoke Bomb, retreat in a 9 block. Retreat in 9 block means pretty much that this is gonna be an 11 block, as Sirocco is gonna add another 2 block onto that. And Cookie, I love the Cookie, so let's buy the, these 3 and I also get another talent tier. I need to get a better a draw engine in here. Let's... Let's get five brushes. So because I got five brushes from here, I'm going to assume that these brushes actually do carry me over for the next act. So I could have kept one or two and then be with seven now. Cypher's Cloak Legendary. Whenever the hero is below 50% health, they gain three power. Let's give that to our little squishy guy. Sh Cypher shakes his head. How long? How long have I been here? We don't know, but we are here to help. It seems like we are all stuck in this place. So come with us. We could use your strength. Growls very well, but consider this a temporary alliance. Cypher Blood Tyrant will now available near base camp. So now I can start with that guy. Let's get the talent first. Increase attack damage. Both heroes gain one power. Okay, that's nice. Vaults of Wisdom always offer one card with one random gem in it. Uh, how many more cards do I want in this deck? At the start of your... Uh, whenever Sharon takes damage, she gains two stacks of courage. Uh, let's go with the permanent plus power, I think. Uh, whenever she takes damage... I, I want to avoid taking damage. Although getting courage is nice and all. Uh, this thing is a bit more late game. Nah, let's go for let's go for the flat plus one power. I think it's really bad, but I think those are a bit worse. Uh, just my opinion. Lost in the Oversky, Chapter 2. So we just arrived at Chapter 2 and I will... Whoa, look at this! Wow, this is so awesome! Look at this area! We've arrived among the floating islands of the Oversky. Watch your step. Ancient primal magic keeps these islands above the clouds. They are chained together so as not to float away from one another. The creatures here are normally docile but have become agitated by the roguebook. Find your way carefully. Okay, okay. I really like the aesthetic here. I have never been in this place. I just played the demo like uh, two months ago or three months ago. I don't know. So I just have played once with these two characters and only the first act. From here on out, I have no idea what's happening. Where I, I, I didn't have any idea what was happening anyway, but now I know even less. Uh, but uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's look at the shop and then most likely cut it out. Actually, maybe I should look at the shop in the next video. Mm, I don't know. Let's uh, yeah, let's uh, let's look at the shop etc. on the next run. So for now, let's just end it over here. So yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be it for today. If you like the content, drop a like. Again, uh, I would like to hear some comments about if people would like to see a series on this. I am gonna do one run now. Maybe a second run. Maybe a third one. But uh, I would really like to hear some opinions on the matter and also I would like to hear some uh, comments about the sound options because uh, as I said I'm just um, right now they should be a bit on the lower side for safety reasons because I don't want it to cover my voice but otherwise that's it. Uh, also something I want to point out the game was gifted by me to me by Butterbollocks so thank you very much for that and um, yeah that's it pretty much. Uh, thanks for watching and see you guys around.